I'm Jackson Pierce and this video is about math. Now there's a lot of reasons why I dislike math, but the thing is, when I see a lot of numbers and math problems in front of me, I am physically affected. Seriously, have you ever been sleeping over at like a friend's house or your grandmother's house and you have to get up and use the bathroom in the middle of the night? You don't really know where the furniture is, so you know, you sort of walk through kind of feeling out and you're anticipating that moment where you just, you know that you're gonna smash your toe into the side of a dresser. So you're just, you're waiting for it to happen. You know it's gonna happen. Just please, I've got to pee. Ah. You feel lost and out of control and you're not really sure where you're headed. That is how I feel when I do math. And so I try to avoid math whenever possible. I mean, luckily in my profession, I don't have to do a lot of math in my day-to-day -day life beyond, you know, basic addition and percentages, that kind of thing. But today, while I was painting the Winter Guard floor with the group I coach, I had to do some math. Specifically, I needed to find the circumference of a circle, which is, you know, all the way around the outside edge. It did not go well. For starters, I didn't know how to find the circumference of a circle. You know, I'm sure I learned it at some point, but I clearly have blocked out that memory. A sixth grade student had to remind me that the circumference is pi times the diameter of the circle. Luckily, I remembered enough math to know that the diameter is the distance across the circle and that pi is 3.14. So to figure out the circumference, I first needed to know the diameter. I got a piece of string and walked out to where I wanted the center of the circle to be. And then I had a friend walk that piece of string all the way to the edge where, you know, the edge of the circle would be. And then, you know, we had our diameter. We quickly calculated everything. Shortly after doing all those calculations, we realized that we had not, in fact, found the diameter. We had found the radius, which is halfway across. We still needed the diameter, which is, you know, the whole way across. We quickly recalculated. I wrote down numbers and that feeling of, of walking in the darkness grew stronger and stronger. I started to feel really lost and out of control and I kind of started to freak out when I was writing all of these numbers down on this spare piece of foam board. I told you math makes me anxious. This is my normal handwriting. And this is my handwriting under the influence of math. Now between the two of us, we eventually figured out our numbers, but I'll admit that I started to totally shut down. I no longer trusted the numbers because of our radius diameter mistake. I wasn't sure of anything anymore. I ended up giving another friend a sad and mournful look until he gave in and, you know, did the rest of the math for us. Now, aside from the fact that, you know, I have a college degree yet had to have a sixth grader help me with math, that situation was really unfortunate because the truth is, I don't think I innately hate math. I don't really want to do it every day, but I don't think I just, you know, deep down want math to die a horrible fractional death. I think I can't do math without having, you know, horrible anxiety because I didn't learn it. I didn't love it the way I loved writing, so instead of trying to understand math better, I just ignored it and, you know, I did poorly in math classes and I forgot everything about algebra the moment the final bell rang in school. I learned to hate math because I refused to understand it. And it kind of hit me today how much it sucks that I and probably so many other people learn to hate things simply by refusing to understand them. I think it goes beyond math, from the super trivial to the super important. People decide they just hate a certain type of food, so they refuse to give it another chance. They decide they hate reading, so they refuse to pick up a book. They decide they hate an entire religion or race, and they refuse to understand anything about the culture. So Math, you and I might never be friends, but I have decided that instead of just flatly hating you, I am going to do my best to understand you and everything else that is scary and anxiety-inducing. I even drew this picture of us together, Math. See how happy we look? Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you later.